What's good everyone? Neil Sparks here from A1 Music Productions, here to talk about reverberation. Now there's a lot of confusion about reverb and delay, convolver. So I'm going to break it down for you one tutorial at a time. Now reverberation is a prolong of a sound resonance. A continuing effect if you like. You can use reverberation for anything, always depends on the sound and the producer. Remember, there's no rules, only methods. Um, I'm going to show you how to use a reverb on a vocal. So what I'll do is I'll record something and I'll put a reverb on it. Just a basic standard Fruity Loops reverb. Okay. One, two, one, two, one, two, reverberation, reverberation. That'll do. So I'm just going to tidy this up very quickly. I'm really sorry, I'm a pain in the butt when it comes to stuff like this. Okay, now that's tidy. I'm just going to play it. One, two, one, two, one, two, reverberation, reverberation. I might turn that into a track. Ha! <laughs> no, jokes. Let's get on with it. Okay, so insert one. We're going to take this off. We don't need... Actually, no, we do that. Let's give this another channel. Control L. Okay. So. <clears throat> There's two types of reverberation. There's reverb and a convolver. And we'll go with... We'll go through all all of the uh, methods of delay and reverb, but I just want to stick to the first one. So reverb two, you should have in FL Studio 12. Hopefully you guys are up to date. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm also going to put a reverb on my recording voice. And you can see that my voice is now reverbed. Now, do not get too confused with these, all right? Okay, this is the low end. Sorry, the low cut. And this is the high cut. One, two. One, two. As you can see, I'm going to cut the low end pretty much all the way. Maybe have a little bit. And this is the high end. One, two. As you can see, nothing all the way up you can hear the high so i'm going to come down here one two now if you was to um left click the mouse on this you can actually change the size as you go so the wider the more room that the effective instrument can go one two as you can hear it's a um, very st like metal steel sort of effect. Now if it's wide, it's got so much more room to play around with. I'm just gonna have it just about there. Okay, this is your box. It's your diffusion, as they say. Um, one, two. As you can hear, it's kind of um, delay, if you like. So, the more diffusion you have, the less it's going to be so spiky. One, two. Now it's a nice, clean reverb. Okay, so once you've done this, this is your, okay, this is your pre-delay. So, if you have that up, and you, if you click the tempo, tempo bass pre-delay, I just have it with that up. So when I speak, it's not going to actually start the reverb until a split second so yup yup so if you have it more it'll be about a second yup yup yo. one two and I think that's really cool to have yo that's pretty cool okay this is your bass multiplier I always not always but most of the time I have that down 
Okay. This is your crossover. One, two. One, two. Okay, this is your decay time. This is how long it's going to last for. One, two. If it was a hall, the hall is now larger. One, two. One, two. And this is your damp. One, two. One, two. Okay, this is your early reflection. I'm gonna have my wetness up a bit more. Keep your dry more than your wet because otherwise your reverb is gonna be more than your actual recording. One, two. Yo. Oh, smoke the ganja, rest the fire, rude boy. Na na na, hey yo, Rastafari rule boy. That's effective, extremely effective. So, if I was to put this on, number one. Let's see how it sounds. One, two, one, two, one, two. Reverberation, reverberation. One, two, one, two, one, two. Reverberation, reverberation. One, two, one, two, one, two. Reverberation, reverberation. One. Now you do need, sorry, let me take the reverb off. You do need to mess around with the reverb because there is a lot of sounds out there that need a certain type of reverberation. You can't just throw a reverb on and say it's done. No, it doesn't work like that. It really does not work like that. There's a lot of producers out there that will know exactly what you've done to that reverb. So if you load up a reverb and say, oh, my reverb's done and you haven't done anything, a lot of Fruit Loops producers can say easily, well, he didn't do nothing to that reverb. It's just a default reverb. So mess around with it and make sure that it is, suits you. Don't, don't settle for less. Make sure that you're okay with the sound, you know? Get involved, get stuck in, be the reverb, be the sound. That's what music's all about, you know, having fun and just messing around with the knobs. That's a reverb anyway, okay? I don't want to make these tutorials too long for you guys because I know you want to get stuck in. So I'm Neil from A1 Productions. Any questions, speak to me, speak to one of our admins, we're here. 24 7 365 and uh, happy fruity looping guys that was a tutorial on reverb 2 on FL studio 12 everyone calls me sparks by the way I could say any questions just give us uh, a shout uh, Merry Christmas guys have a great new year and all that malarkey and uh, hopefully your beats are gonna come out crystal clear you're on the right path guys take care peace